Kevin says, yeah. Oh, Avengers, here we go. Oh, wait, well, make sure the guys will see me, right? right. Oh man, I'm so excited to see this movie. Oh, it's gonna be great. Oh, I've been waiting for a long time for this, man. Oh, it's gonna be great. You guys ready? Oh, excited. It looks like someone found Groot. I found him. All right. It's on the left of us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's going on with Ben? I don't know, he's just been sitting there for like an hour now. What are you doing? If I stand still, no one will see me. We all see you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Ben, come on, sit down and watch the movie. You're not invisible. No. Give it up. It, it, I'm a it. B hey, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Big One Eight Five Eighty Nine here with a movie review with the crew. I got Q, Johnny Webb, and CO One Two One, and Bazinga. So you all got to see a movie tonight, guys, on opening night. Um, I'm really excited to do this review because it's been almost about 10 years in the making for this film almost. Yeah. It's been, it's been a very long time. It's been, Marvel's been building up to this and I'm actually excited to say this. We want to see Infinity War. So, we've been waiting for Thanos to come this whole time. All the way from Iron Man, all the way up to uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Every film that led up to it led to Thanos. So, even Deadpool? Well, maybe. You never know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, 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 if they mix universes and melt it eventually, but I don't know. Because after all, they all like Lady Death. Oh, they w yeah, exactly. That's true. Um, so, um, see, we got three geeks over here. You guys are like, what? The love triangle. So, what were you guys expecting going into this movie? Let's start with Mr. Nate over here. Uh, I was expecting something pretty dark, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? No, I was expecting the same thing. Uh... Hmm. I was um I was expecting Spider Man's iron suit, which I got to see, even though it was the wrong color, but it was still badass. That was good. I um, I was expecting Iron Man to practically kind of like be like the main. Well, every every Avenger in the Marvel films the should be center, center, center focus yeah. as Iron an Iron Man. Yeah, that, that's what I was hoping. It suffers well, from it, Iron it Man just, syndrome. Yeah, I was just hoping that they didn't change that. Uh, yeah. That's uh, my favorite, so. Yeah, I would I say, I like Iron Man. I say, personally, I think the bigger focus is on Doctor Strange than anybody else. Yes. Yeah. Was it? Yes, I think so. So, what, what do you think, what do you think, Joe? What were you expecting? Yeah. Expecting, like, from the first Avengers when uh, Tony Stark flew into that uh, portal or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he saw the vision of every single one dying or dead and just him alive and seeing Thanos. It wasn't the same death scene, though. Which no. Is, well, no, but it's a variant though because yeah. there were so many possibilities of that future. True, like a paradox. Yeah. Yes. So I think yeah. I think they covered that with Doctor Strange. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was really expecting dark. Like I said I heard a lot of dark coming from the the uh, the mini reviews of of just like people seeing first screenings of it, and they said that it was darker toned compared to the other ones. A little bit of comedy. I'm actually happy they added some comedy. Unlike in Black Panther, it was just like you know. Straightforward Black Panther. There you go. Well, it was comedy, but they made the interactions like if the superheroes were real people and they had to interact as yeah. regular yes. people. Yes, that's why I liked about yeah. So yeah, they kept it. I I definitely have to agree. So what were you yeah. expecting? I was expecting to be overwhelmed with uh, characters. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of heroes in this movie, so I was like, there's a lot of stories going on. So we all know what we're expecting going into the film. Um, I, I I think that we all kind of like thought the same thing in some sense in the in the whole film itself. Um, when we got into the movie, what was our general thought in the movie itself? Were you were you feeling like a lot of nostalgia, like with a lot of the people in there? Or were you feeling like overwhelmed with a lot of people? I was excited to see what's gonna happen. Like the whole time, I'm like, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? There's just so much going on right now. I need to know. I need to know. Uh, I wouldn't say I felt too much nostalgia because the superhero movies have been going on for, what, 10 years now. Mm -hmm. That nostalgia kind of wore off a few years ago mm -hmm. with going to see the superhero movies. So you're really going to see a really good, like, animated action movie with live action. Well, and it was done well. I, I, I think the nostalgia might be different from you to me, though, because, like I said, <laughs> I'm a comic book geek, and, like, when I see, like, little hints in, like, you know, jabs of, like, what the comic book had into the movies... It's nostalgic to me. Like when I see like 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 I know Johnny Webb over here is saying it's not the right color for the Iron Man uh, Iron yeah. Spider suit. 
but the fact that that they used they it. used it is what made me yeah, feel so nostalgic. Like I'm, I'm like, oh, I've been waiting for this suit for years. I cannot wait to see this thing. Well, time to do something very right here. Oh, <laughs> yes, definitely yes. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you, do you guys a lot of nostalgia feel for you? Yeah, but I was expecting to see a couple more characters around that time era. Yeah, I mean, they were missing a couple of people from the Avengers around that time. But then again, I'm always comparing to the box, so. No. Yeah, you're, you're more like, like a, comparison to the comic book directly for yeah, a while. Like they were missing my Spider Woman, and Wolverine did pop up in the story if you read the books because they have so many crossovers. No. But the same universe. That's yeah. what you think. Uh, uh, I have to agree with John here, Dodd. I was expecting a lot more characters, but. Yeah. Really, uh, can't, can't I was can't expecting about the it. Yeah, really. Spinner. Well, <laughs> it, 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 it's a two and a half hour time span. And you have to have enough dialogue to build characters along with showing the characters. And do that with only so many characters, you only have so much time to do yeah. it. So that's where you run into the it's issues. It's a movie longer. Yeah. Well, they did with Lord of the Rings. Well, what they did with this movie is a lot of people don't understand. <laughs> yeah, is they recorded the Infinity nice War podcast. and they recorded the uh, <laughs> Avengers 4 back to back. So like, they, they, cut the, they cut the film in half. So when they did do this, they did have a lot more characters. But the other part of the half of the other part of half the film is Avengers 4. Which is in post, uh, was in production or post production? Post, post production. Post -production. Yeah, post production mm -hmm. now. So they're coming up with a title for it, and they gotta basically give trailers and stuff like that. But they will bring back a lot of things from this movie back in the Avengers Four because my speculations were about almost eighty percent true. There are some things that didn't come true in my speculations, but but then again, like I said, I've never been a hundred percent accurate with a lot of my Marvel movies. As Bazinga will throw like the book at me every time he says like, "There's no credit scene after this." <laughs> um, so. But it said there was. <laughs> without That's what really spoiling anything, I just gotta ask a question: Is any favorite moment you can re you can recall? I am a huge. I really like the. I really like Iron Man, Tony Stark, his character, everything about him. It's like perfect. And I always am excited for the next movie to come out to see how he gets into his uniform and into the Iron Man suit. And it was really cool this time. It was really oh, cool. Oh, yes. I, I just... There, there was nothing like when he got out of the racetrack and dropped the suitcase. Yep. And, and now he just does this this new thing. It was really cool. I, I really enjoyed that. That was my favorite. Maybe you Nate. I would say, besides a certain spoiler, which I can't reveal, my favorite point of the movie, um... It was Doctor Strange in general. Um, just Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, mine was having the Guardians of the Galaxy there, where mm -hmm. I'm yeah. usually yeah. a fan of them. I, I liked how they mixed the different movies together to make it work. Because every, every movie has its own feeling. Yeah. yeah. Like God, Guardians of the Galaxy is like the 80s rock music yes. and stuff like that. And then you got the Thor with its psychedelic colors and stuff like that, and they just mixed it all, and it went. It, it, they just work very well together. Mr. Webb, I like the idea that they use the, uh, the um, nanotechno um, nanotechnology suits. Mm. Yeah. But uh, they were they did use that in uh, Spider-Man Unlimited. When you mm. read those, when he yeah, came I remember up with that. that, and went to like another dimension, and <laughs> that's a whole different story. But, See, yeah. I think yeah, for squeeze it in. <laughs> I think the one of the things that really stuck out to me is just Thanos. Like they they they, they chose a really good actor to play Thanos, and, and and the thing is like, it just his his voice and his personification in the movie itself it, it is it stands out above every villain you've seen before. It definitely stands out more compared to Ultron. I tell you right now. Right. See, I, I thought that I think his voice should have been a little more deeper not deeper it just didn't have presence did it not almost sound like a negan from walking dead to you well yeah he's a <laughs> the, their character models are very the same and the premise is very the same of their way they rule yeah um it's a very megalomaniac style but the voice almost sounded like a negan to me every time i'd say that yeah kind of and stuff negan was more like he tried to be more negan's trying to be i guess you could say lighthearted about it yeah. Where this guy's like, this is how it is, I'm strong enough to do it, da 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 Well, that's, how, that's, that's exactly does. how I felt he was. I was expecting him to be like, 
Not like deep voice or nothing, just Praise a little more. Pre yeah, yeah. I am in charge, you know, stuff but like that. You got one thing, though. This guy's been doing it for who knows how long. Mm. We don't even know how long. It's been probably thousands of years he's been at this. So at some point, he's going to get a little like, okay, let's just do this. Come on. Well, how, 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 old, how old is Thor again? What did he say? Uh, he said 700 years? Or no, no. 1,500 years. Let's go for his age, huh? <laughs> so uh, beyond our favorite <laughs> so moments, in, <laughs> behind our favorite moments in nostalgia field, we're going to get to the rating scale right now. We're going to go down the line, start on Bazinga. What would you give this rate, this movie from between a one and five? I'd give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. I That's really six. liked it. I'm going to save my rating for last because I want to say something. So what do you think? Four out of five. Okay. Uh, I give it a 4.5 because it came out better than what I expected. It really did. Mm. I thought it was going to be a crap fest. But uh, anyway. I give it a five for the ending. <laughs> so. I, Man, the ending was awesome. <laughs> I want to say that I'm going to give this movie a, a four out of five because I feel like when it comes down to it, though, mm. There's so much that they took out from what I've read. Like they, they, there was a lot more film to this first half that they cut out that I would love to see in the, the deleted scenes. Like there are certain scenes that I won't even bring up that they took out that would bring a lot more story backing for certain people in the movie. No, yeah, that would have been good. And, and it would be a lot more popish when you see the person and why they're acting the way they do. You know, um, so. Basically, down the board, we're almost uh, on key with a four out of five and one five out of five over mm -hmm. here. Um, it's a very good movie, guys. If you guys want to go see a good Avengers movie, I, I, I could say honestly, say you could, could really possibly just skip Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron was okay, but it wasn't great. No, uh, I, I ruined it. I, I think this one out beats all, both of them all together, the first and second one. Yeah. But I really think though, like it, it's just. It's just an overall good movie. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, follow us on social media. Hit that bell if you want to receive any notifications for any videos that comes out. Be sure to follow the Get Tech crew over here. Uh, we have a lot more content coming out, a lot more movie reviews. I know that me and Mr. Uh, Observer over here have uh, Hereditary. Yes. Which, mm -hmm. uh, which I had to talk to you about that one. Okay. And then... Um, Mr. Johnny Webb over here, I plan on doing a full review of Deadpool 2 with you, uh, and that's going to be hilarious because the trailer was, looks amazing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, this has been Big Benoit 589, signing off. Just make sure you're in the photo, in the picture. Then. Hey, guys, Big Benoit 589. Oh, you're looking at the camera. What are you doing? I'm just looking to see where I am. All right, thanks for the blooper. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, he's just checking. Hey guys, big one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> That's the end video.